Hello YouTube! In this video, I'll be showing y'all my updated twisting routine on my son's hair. His hair has grown so much in the past year, but I'll be showing y'all my new twisting technique as well as his hair growth and everything. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so we're going to hop right into it. This is my son's hair while it's wet. For this style, we're going to need some parting combs. We're also going to need some shining jam for the parts. And to finish everything off, we're going to be using the Magic Finger Setting Foam to set the style. So to start off this style, we're going to go ahead and detangle my son's hair. We want to make sure that everything is nice and damp so we can detangle it with the least amount of pain. <laughs> So using a wide tooth comb, I'm going to start from the ends and work my way up. After we do that, we're going to be using this blow dryer brush that I got off of Amazon. It's super cheap. I will be linking it down below, but it gets my son's hair really straight and prepared for us to do the twisting. My son likes for me to blow dry his hair before this style so it can show how much length he actually has. Y'all look at him. So this is how long his hair is after we have finished doing the blow drying process. So to start the hairstyle, I will be going ahead and parting his hair in the back. I do start from the back because it's easier for me that way. Once I have everything parted, I take some shining jam and put that on my wrist on this kind of jam holder that I bought off of Amazon. I like it because it keeps the jam in place and I don't have to keep reaching for product. Everything is on my wrist. But anyways, once I have the part the way I want it, I take the shining jam and put it on my parts. And then I'll take the rat tail comb to clean the parts up so everything looks clean and precise. So since my son's hair has gotten longer and he plays sports, I have started a new method of where I actually braid the roots and then separate the hair into two tails from the braid and start to twist the hair. And I like this method for his hair now since like I said, he does play sports and his roots tend to get very puffy. So me braiding the roots actually keeps the roots secure now more than it did when I did my previous method. So for a close up, what I do is I plait the roots and then I take that middle tail of the plait and separate that into two even tails and then begin to twist down like I normally do. When I do my twist, I do a flick of the wrist <laughs> and so I can have that rope look. Once I am down at the bottom of the twist, I take some product and put it at the bottom of the twist and coil the twist at the bottom of my fingers to make a curl. And that secures the twist and this is how it looks once I'm done. So when it comes to the plait, I only plait it down maybe about a half an inch and then I take that middle tail of the plait, separate that into two and start twisting down the entire length of the hair and I'm making sure that I am twisting my right hand so I have that rope look. So to show y'all this again from a different angle, I plait it down about half an inch and you'll see when I put my finger under there that the plait is no longer than my finger. So I just want, like to make sure that the plait is not too long because I just don't like the way it looks when the plait is super long, but I do like to have a little bit of a plait at the root to make sure that the roots are secure. I just want to say thank y'all so much for all the support y'all have been giving my channel y'all really have been wanting more male tutorial videos on protective styles and i am going to try to give that to y'all my son and i have just been very busy but we wanted to start off with showing y'all the one year hair growth that he's had and the new uh twist technique that we have for his hair since his hair has gotten so long and now he plays a lot of sports so leave a comment down below what other hairstyles you would like to see done on my son's hair. I would try to get that out to y'all. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below and let us know what y'all think about my son's hair growth and what other styles y'all would like to see done. So for the next couple of minutes, you'll see me completing the rest of my son's hair.
So when it came to the front of my son's hair, I decided to do a middle part. In the past, my son has always liked for his twist to go over his face, like over his forehead and into his eyes. I had told him now, since his hair has gotten so long, that I would not be able to do that because I need for him to be able to see while he is walking around. So I decided to do a middle part with the twist going toward the side of the middle part. So this is how the style is looking once I finish the last twist. Now I take the setting mousse and put that all on the twist and this is just to set the style. After I have all the mousse on the hair, I then take a blow dryer and this dries the mousse. Once you have the blow dryer on there, the mousse just kind of disappears and it makes the style so shiny and beautiful. Overall, I think this style took about an hour and a half to complete. So this is how the twists look once they are done. You see all the movement that the twist has and this is a 360 view of what the twist look like now that the style is done. Although I didn't put the twist over my son's forehead like he normally likes, I think he still likes it. You see, look at him. He's moving his hair and everything like that. Y'all see how much his hair has grown since the last time we did a twist video. But this is the finished look. So y'all let me know down below what y'all think of his style and what y'all think of his hair growth and my new technique. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that bell so you get notified every time that I post something so you don't miss something. And I'll see y'all in my next video.